I've had quite a number of people ask me about uh, how I start the various uh, WVO burners I've got on uh, YouTube here. Um, I thought I'd do a video just to, to show you actually how that works and the basic setup of the burners. Uh, people like uh, Jerry and Jeff uh, have made some excellent burners with some excellent tutorials. So I thought I'd try and keep the Aussie side of it up a bit, uh, especially now we're coming into winter, and just show you how these things work. Um, as you can see, this is just a, one of my smaller burners. It's a fire extinguisher with a uh, piece of exhaust pipe in the side. There's no trick to it, I don't even have the measurements and I certainly don't have plans. I just build them as I go and um, that's pretty much it. Um, what I do to start it, as you can probably see, is just stuff it full of some newspapers and I put a bit of veg oil, biodiesel, kerosene diesel, whatever's around, just to, um, to get it to go initially. Uh, this pipe here is the oil feed pipe, which as you can see just goes to a 25 litre drum with a ball valve on it. I use it to regulate. Um, I have an electronic controller which runs an electric um, pulse pump, which uh, is good for doing long term running. It keeps it very stable, but just for short things like this when I'm standing around, uh, this is perfectly adequate. I've got a pretty good idea where the valve needs to be now anyway. Um, to supply air, I've just got one of these uh, blowers. I bought this from a, uh, a surplus place uh, a while back. I forget how much it was. It wasn't very expensive. I think about 10 bucks. And that's just a bit of PVC tube that blows the air into the burner. What I'm doing here is just heating up uh, another load of um, veg oil for processing, which will be, um, you can see, in, a, in another video. So um, what I normally do is um, with my other burner I have, I, um, I have a, a, a restriction on the air intake on the blower I use but um, that one's been used for something else at the moment, I don't want to disturb it so I'll just go with this one. What I'll try and do is just um, uh, throttle the burner, turning it on and off a bit, the blower I should say and maybe throw something over the side of it just so um, it restricts the airflow a bit till the burner gets hot. Uh, the thing you want to watch is not supplying too much air and um, actually overcooling the burner. Uh, the bit of plate you can see there, the metal plate is just to stop uh, the radiated heat off the um, burner uh, starting that little uh, wood on the trolley on fire. Um, it does get uh, red hot as you'll see once it gets uh, fired up and it doesn't take too long to go. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll show you how this works now. Okay to start things going all I'm going to do is um, light the newspaper that I've put in the burner. I'll then put the um, the uh, 90 degree bend on it which just directs the, the flame from being vertical to horizontal onto my uh, oil drum where I want it to go. I'll just give it a, a little bit to catch and then I'll turn the blower on. I've put a bit of a towel over the blower and um, it'll just pick up from there. Have, probably have a bit of an initial flare when I hit the um, the, the air initially um, but you know it'll soon smooth out and hopefully pick up from there.
put a little bit of um, used oil in the bottom of the burner just for start up and one thing it's fairly important to do is just let that um, go for a bit before you um, add too much oil. I will give the, uh, the valve on the oil supply a bit of a flick just to um, put some, some oil in there which will hit the hot spots but mainly I'll wait till it catches and then actually starts to burn down before I put any real supply in. I'll just move the elbow over a bit as it's not quite on the top of the burner and it's um, a little, got a little bit of escaping there. The smoke you see is a bit of oil I spilt on the side of the burner, um, obviously getting hot and lighting off smoking before it, uh, as it gets hot. In a minute I'll start the pump on my uh, veg oil processor because I don't want all the heat just in one spot on the oil. I want to heat it up and actually circulate it. In this configuration with this blower, the, um, the burn is probably putting out somewhere I guess around maybe 20 kilowatts, um, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it'll do, you know, 10 times that, but you need to force the air in. The uh, fuel in the oil form is fairly easy to get in. One litre of oil is worth about 10 kilowatts, so it's more dependent on how much air you can get through rather than how much oil. And as you can see, it's starting to drop a little bit, so I'll just give it a little bit of oil. Um, you can generally see and hear the change when it starts to kick in, and then uh, it's pretty easy to go from there. see that there it's getting red so now I know it's starting to really get hot um, the whole thing will pretty much glow red once once it is going I'll just wait for that to burn down a little bit I don't want to hit it too hard on my oil and burn the oil inside the processor but once that goes down a bit then I'll uh, throttle it up again as you can see the flame itself is, is perfectly clean 
there is a bit of oil coming off it still where I've spilt it, but the flame is, is clean and uh, I'll start to ramp it up a bit now that I've got quite a bit of the burner running hot. Again, it's um, not really putting out full output because I have a smaller blower and also I've still got it restricted, but I'll just start to give it a bit of throttle up now. As you can see, it's starting to come up on its own anyway. running and that's that's where it'll be um, I can throttle it up with a little bit more oil um, but mainly it needs air and um, that's about where it's going to be I'll um, put on my pump now for my veg oil burner because as I said I don't want it to, to char the oil being on my place See the burn is running quite well and um, that's pretty much how you like it. Um, hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you like it, click the like button. That's supposed to, to help do something. And um, if you've got any uh, questions, let me know. Again, I don't have plans. I don't use them. I build everything myself just by sight as I go. Um, this is basically an old fire extinguisher bottle with a pipe welded on the side. There's nothing much else to it. If I can, uh, if I can figure it out, anybody can. So, thanks for watching.